exciting night. Extreme Wars, actually first time in Hawaii for Extreme Wars X1. Yeah, debut event. It definitely set the um, the bar high with a lot of name fighters, <clears throat> a lot of great, great thumb, and also a great theme coming from Marcus Brandon versus uh, Local Boys. Yes. A lot of Local Boys, they don't really like to fight with other Local Boys. You exactly. see them around, it's hard to get up for a fight like that. So it's always great to uh, fight like a mainland fighter or somebody, somebody, you know, not from your backyard. Nice look at, I believe that's Brian Garrity making his way into the ring. Yep, I believe so. Fights out of Dave Strasser's uh, Freestyle Fighting Academy. I live in uh, Kenosha, Wisconsin. Known well for their grappling in. Um, well around the school, but primarily, um, like Dave's known for his, his grappling primary. But so see about his student here. Getting cornered by Chris Brennan. Now, of course, uh, Chris Brennan putting together some, uh, some of the top fighters over there on the mainland. Chris Brennan himself hasn't been in the ring about uh, maybe 16 months. Yeah, in fact, he's, he's making his way back. Fun Japan recently. East side in the house. Roy Manalo boy. Cleo Kwan making his way to the ring. This guy's an excellent kickboxer, uh, trying to make the transition into MMA. His sprawls are getting better. Uh, and basically, you know, like I said before, you know, the worst thing you want to do is you want to be a grappler, fighting a guy and just being the crap out of you, standing up, you can't do anything about it, you can't take this guy down. Well, always exciting to watch him. All right, mixed martial arts fight fans. Introducing first into the Extreme Wars ring on my left. Five feet ten inches tall, a well-prepared 154 pounds. He has a five-fight winning streak in MMA by impressive TKOs, his last outing. He fights and trains out of Kenosha, Wisconsin. Welcome, Brian Gary. Eastsiders in the house. Top sport they're fighting. That's what it's all about tonight. Uh, Extreme Wars X1. It's uh, pitting Hawaii's local boys from Hawaii team. taking on uh, Chris Welcome. Brennan's next generation Go team. Wow. Like you said earlier, Chris, it's always it's always a good opportunity to uh, fight. Actually, get in the ring with uh, fighters from not only from Hawaii but around the world. Absolutely, experience is everything. Uh, different fighting styles, how do you react to them, it, the, is your existing game, your skills actually, are, are you able to uh, adapt to this fight? So, uh, again, great great time to get in the ring with anybody. Again, Cliff Kwan, the consummate striker, extensive boxing background, uh, just, just a sumo lightweight champion. Always exciting to watch Khalil. And he also made it to the finals of the Proving Grounds uh, eight-man tournament recently. Again, talking with a lot of the uh, the fighters from uh, Chris Brennan's team, a lot of them not really worried about to ask that they watch tape or if they got any any info on their opponents. A lot of them not really concerned. Yeah, that that I, I don't understand, but that's yeah, me. Exactly. I, you know? I, I, I expect you know the, the search out fight footage, see what the strengths exactly. are, what the weaknesses are. But you know, some guys are just um, you know, some guys are competent in their skills. Some guys are just scrappers. They just like to scrap. Exactly. And they, like, they like that little surprise action. Pretty surprised at, at, at their answer when I asked them. Ryan was pretty sharp on his, like, very comfortable on his legs. That was a kind of black shot there, but. I mean, you gotta love it. You, you've got a, you've got a fighter with good grappling skills and a fighter with good boxing and striking skills. It looks like Brian's definitely, uh, it looks like he's throwing some pretty solid uh, leg kicks there, so he looks pretty comfortable. That, that shot was just uh, was not set up. And now he's, 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 he's
hill right there. Back the hill. Uh, what Pelea has to do is guys back for a toe hold. Pelea has to keep spinning. Nice. You know, I've never seen that before off the bottom. Full guard. Kick, uh, kick from the bottom up. Not yet. A lot of people practice it. I mean, a lot of jiu-jitsu guys practice it. Not very much people use it, actually. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of times, when you post the setup there, if the guy comes around at the same time, then your, your face is kind of open as you're extending to try and get up the, your feet up to his head. So. Mm -hmm. Brandon's pretty sharp. But real quickly stepped over for that uh, heel hook to transition right. to toe hold. And up right here, set up an arm lock. Pelos sees it coming, looking good, now going for a triangle. He's on a pretty tight here now. Pelos better yeah. start. Now that triangle's locked in nice and tight now. Once, once you see the foot behind the knee, you know. He's going straight, transition for the straight arm lock. Back to the triangle when he bends down. You gotta love the muscle. I mean, just big left hand there by Kwan. Big left, but right now, he's still got it sunk in there. Pelos gotta get out of there. It's a tight, that's a tight triangle right there. And and straight, straight, straight arm lock. Now he goes straight to the arm lock, locks him out. Great fight for Brian. Unbelievable. Brian evens it up. And you won one. You gotta love it. I mean, just the, the, the continuation. Of, he saw he, he had the, uh, the the arm bar. He went back to another submission. He, went, he just kept going back and forth. Definitely, that's on a seasoned fighter. Um, and that's that's the key. You know, how, how quick can he flow from technique to technique? Let's, let's take a look at the replay here. Brian is locked into a full triangle. Nice and deep. Legs caught down. Foot could be a little bit deeper, but I mean that's tight right there. He's hooking the knee, makes it hard for Kolo to stand up, get some, and you know, close had enough just tapping. Same time he couldn't see it from that camera angle, but um, he's straightened out the arm too. Brian Garrity takes it with 224 in the first round. It's a mission. Ladies and gentlemen, in an exciting bout at 224 in the first round, your winner, Brian. Very impressed with uh, Brian. Now stands Hawaii's top team one. The Next Ultra generation one. Give it a cobra there. Another. There we go. You can hook in the the. Uh, a lot of times you change that angle, the triangle. You can actually slip in it tighter. Well, we've got a minute. I'd like to thank Brian's always in a position that he could just kind of kind of pick and choose what he wants to do. Cycle import. Yeah, he's basically a two primary X. options available: straight arm lock, which a lot of times the fighter backs out, and just are to pull him in and, and secure that triangle to squeeze those legs together. Cuddle.